Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are live yet again, and I'm hoping everything's working right. It's been a minute since I've set this up, so I think I think there might be a delay with my voice. If there is, if the if the audio isn't in sync with my voice, let me know. I think I have to fix that because it's really going to bother me. Uh, anyways, welcome to the live stream. Uh, it's been a while since since I've done one of these. Uh, basically. I wanted to get on and talk about, oh, it looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. Yeah, I wanted to talk, I wanted to get on and talk about uh, what's going on on Amazon today. And I've also got some other, you know, some other, you know, housekeeping things to talk about, channel updates, uh, all kinds of thing, all kinds of things going on today. And I'm, I'm super hot and tired. Um, <laughs> so this weekend I was actually away for uh, Father's Day, we took our kids up to New Hampshire to the mountains, uh, got around to doing some trail running and hiking, and we took our kids out, and um, it was great. But uh, it was like I, I had mentally checked out of, uh, you know, doing this stuff, and then <laughs> and I came back, and I'm like trying to remember how to set, every, set everything up, so bear with me. Uh, anyways, so in this live stream, we're going to talk about uh, what's going on on, on Amazon. We're going to talk about channel updates, uh, merch updates which i'm super excited about and yeah the state of things gps watches all the things we love here here at chase the summit <laughs> uh okay it looks like a bunch of people are in the chat that's exciting uh welcome everybody i'm just gonna go through and say hi to the people the early the early folks who showed up today uh what's the most accurate gps watches uh, accurate gps watch i still use the soon to Ambit 2S, and I think I want to switch brands. So in terms of like raw, you're just looking raw GPS accuracy, I can speak from my experience so far. I've got two. So the Garmin 400 745, for whatever reason, has always been really good. I don't know why. And the new 945 LTE, again, really good. I don't know why. I thought it would be the same as the original 945, but that's not the case. It is um, super accurate in terms of GPS performance. Hello from Vancouver. Would you will you do reviews on running apparel? Yes, I'm uh, trying to diversify a bit more because I'm afraid I'm gonna pigeonhole myself into like the the tech side of things. Even though that's pr the bread and butter of this channel, I still I have a lot of passion for other things. So I I've been doing shoes. I actually posted one this morning about the Hoka One One Clifton Eight, and I'm working on some other stuff. I actually was filming right before I came on live, um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks for watching. Welcome from Vancouver. Good morning, Arian uh, Abdulia from Iraq. That's awesome. Uh, this is a question from Arian that I get asked all the time. This is uh, any Phoenix 7 updates. I get this every day. Instagram inboxes, emails, uh, YouTube comments, Instagram comments. Let me be clear. I have no insider knowledge with Garmin. And if I did, I wouldn't be able to share it with you. Uh, and the, usually the insider knowledge I get is only like a few days ahead of time. So I'm never really early to the party. I'm not there yet. <laughs> uh, if I had to speculate, since the 945 LTE hit the market, I feel like we'll see something eventually. But um, yeah, not, not yet. Uh, and there isn't, any, like if you poke around, there's not any leaks either. Um, which usually you see the leaks come out like on some websites that focus on leaks and rumors and stuff and we haven't seen that yet. Uh, is the Garmin 400 245 worth the money right now? Totally, yeah. I mean, I, I love that watch. I thought it was really good. Um, it's accurate. It's got a lot of features. And even though the 400 55 seems like it's kind of like the 245, it's not all the way there because it's missing like the training load and all that stuff. So if you're interested in 245, I would say it's still worth it. And uh, we've got the Prime Day sales we're going to look at today. Uh, so it might be even more worth it. Uh, okay, so before I move through the chat, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump over to some, some housekeeping items. First up, something I'm super excited about is the new Chase the Summit uh, technical trucker hat. I call this the Sunrise Hat. Uh, this hat was designed by me um, in conjunction with Boko Gear, and it is available for pre-order starting today. I put it up for pre-order this morning, and 
I am so excited to get one of these. Uh, basically, like that tree and mountain scene is going to be screened on, kind of like what I'm wearing now. And then the Chase the Summit logo will actually be uh, embroidered. So it's going to be a pretty legit hat. It's going to be, um, you know, all moisture wicking, uh, really nice premium stuff from Boko Gear. So super excited. If you're interested, I've got a limited quantity and I still got time to up my quantity. A bunch of people already ordered today. Uh, if you want to get in line, uh, definitely head over to the link down in the description to check that out because, uh, like I said, I don't have unlimited amounts of them. <laughs> and I'm going to be stealing two myself so I can have like a nice clean one and then a raunchy run version. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, uh, with that out of the way, let's jump over to, uh, let's jump over to Amazon for now. And right up, on, right off the bat, up on the screen, I've got the Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire. This, spoiler alert, is probably the deal of the day that I found so far on, on Amazon. It's not hidden. It's right there. Like, you just go to the page. They've got this marked down for, from $799. Granted, it was not $799 before today. But they got it marked down to $499, $500 for the, for the Garmin Phoenix 6 gray DLC coated with Sapphire. So this is mapping, music, Wi-Fi, all of the features packed into the, the Phoenix 6 for 500 bucks. That's crazy. That's the cost of uh, the, the 409. That's cheaper than the 40945. So if you're, if you're on the fence about the Phoenix 6, today's the day to, to go grab it. Also, if you're, if you're interested in anything I show in this video, I will have uh, links in the description that help support the channel. You know the blurb. I got to say that. Um, but yeah, I've got Amazon affiliate links in the description for all the things I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about today. In fact, I'm gonna jump over to my own channel. Uh, hopefully this doesn't Six. echo. Today's oh, the day. Oh, it's echoing. Uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, let's do that, Dave. I'm gonna jump over to my own channel so I can get my links available so I can jump back and forth uh, quickly. Okay, uh, so yeah, like I said, the deal of the day is gonna be that, not the, not the Chase the Summit hat, but, <laughs> but the uh, Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire. Hey, uh, we've, we just got an order for a hat. L let me do a live shout out uh, to Keith. If you're watching, Keith, are you in the chat? Maybe you're not using your real name. I don't see it. Um, thanks for the order. So the, the, the deal of the day is definitely the, the Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire. Um, you can see I bought this back in 2019. <laughs> it says up top there. Uh, and yeah, this is an amazing watch. And for that price, it's like crazy, like hard, so hard to beat. So if you're, if you're on the fence about it, I think all of the other sizes are available too, like the 6S and the 6X, I think are available. But um, yeah, crazy, crazy good deal. Okay, let's jump over to some other deals. Uh, we've got Garmin has like this whole page on Amazon and I kind of wanted to, I didn't like dig too deep prior to this. I just kind of put the link here so we can kind of look at it together. Um, and so we've got the venue, the original venue, not the venue two, in, important, uh, differentiator. And we've got that 219, which is a pretty good deal. I think, uh, after the venue two came out, that, that was like what, 239. So it's marked down a few bucks. Um, the venue move HR, I'm not totally interested in the instinct esports edition. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was a really interesting release. Of course, I never got to try it out because I'm not an esports. I don't play Fortnite, but that's down to 179 and it is a regular instinct. So if you're interested in that, that's kind of cool. Really, the only thing that interested me about the esports Garmin instinct was the fact that you can like overlay your uh, heart rate data in real time in OBS. So like I could be doing this live stream right now and you guys would be able to see my heart rate like overlaid on, you know, up here on the screen or something. That would be kind of interesting, I guess. But, you know, I, I don't play games enough to be an eSport guy. Uh, we've got some golf watches. Not interested, really. I mean, I'm kinda, they're cool, but they're not really for me. There's the uh, Phoenix 6S Pro non-sapphire for 499 so that's interesting you could buy the 6s pro non-sapphire or the 6 pro sapphire for the same price today which is wild and we've got uh, the venue here uh what else instinct solar 249 
Uh, that's a really good price. It was previous three ninety nine. I think it got marked down recently, but yeah, that's a it's a pretty aggressive, pretty aggressive price point there as well. Uh, let's keep scrolling. What else we got? Uh, Garmin forty five. So the Garmin four hundred fifty five that came out uh, what two weeks ago now, and I reviewed that alongside the nine forty five LTE. Check out the channel if you're interested in that. The 45 was the predecessor to the 55, if you didn't know. I'm sure you did. And so that's down to 139, which is pretty good. Uh, previously, I think before today, it was like 150. So you're getting like 10 bucks off there. Not a huge discount, but if you're like somebody who's like, oh, should I get it? Maybe I'm not. You know, today's kind of the day to jump on these things. Uh, what else we got? 45S, same thing as the 45, just smaller. Vivo Active 4. Um, 45. What is it? How much is the Vivo Active 4? The Vivo Active 4S is down to 189. That's actually a really aggressive price from 349. It definitely wasn't 349 from today. Um, but yeah. So overall, you know, decent deals from Garmin. Uh, I'd say the star of the show is still that Phoenix 6 Sapphire for, you know, crazy, crazy cheap money. I still have a chat up on the screen, don't I? Um, but for yeah, 500 bucks. That's crazy talk. Okay, uh, let's jump back into the chat. We've got, oh, look at that. Kiefer, shout out to my man. <laughs> he, uh, he just bought a hat, so thanks, man. Appreciate that. I'm going to jump back a little further because there's a lot of chats coming in. Hey, Josie from Montreal. Thanks for joining again. You're always, you're always a reliable one in the, uh, in the chat uh, watching, watching the channel, so I appreciate that. Stephanie Lopez, uh, love the new hat design. Saw your order that came in earlier. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. We've got cheers from Brazil. Thanks for joining. We got Seth Acton. Uh, pro tip: use Father's Day as an excuse to go to the whites by yourself. <laughs> I may have tried that, but the whole family came. You know, I still got out. I did um, Mount Stanton yesterday. That was fun. I'm mean, short, you know, three mile run, but it had like a thousand feet of elevation gain. Awesome view from the top. So that was fun. And we, you know, we spent time in the rivers and stuff and skipped rocks. So they had fun. I had fun. It was a good Father's Day. Hope you had a good one yourself. I know you've got a kid. So happy Father's Day to you. Alexandra uh, Zanin, how does the training tiles look like on the Student 27 when you've got multiple activities? Um, hmm. Training tiles. I don't know what you're... I don't have the ability to pull that up right now, but I'll circle back. Uh, would you ever recommend a road, road running shoe for light trail use? Yeah, totally. Actually, in the video I posted this morning of the Clifton 8, I, I took that trail running in like buffed out trails uh, with, you know... You run into problems when things get really steep or like muddy or wet, obviously, or like sandy stuff. Basically, if you don't have big lugs under your shoes, you can run into some trouble. But the Clifton 8s actually did pretty good and buffed out kind of hard-packed trails. So I wouldn't rule them out. And, you know, like, use what works. If you've got... I hate this. I, I hate the excuse of, like, I want to get into trail running, but I can't afford trail shoes. It's like, just wear whatever shoes you have and go do it, because otherwise you'll never start. And maybe you'll hate it, and then you wasted money on a pair of trail shoes. So that's my take on it. Um, might as well give it a shot first and, and then, you know, find out what what your shoes aren't doing that you wish they would do and then look for a shoe that fulfills that need, if that makes any sense. Wilco, thanks for the information. You're welcome. Uh, looking between the Polar and Chorus ecosystem for workouts. Workout recommendations. So I don't think either one... Actually, you know, no, that's right. Um, so you got FitSpark on Polar, which will give you like a generalized, you know, do mobility or do like sit-ups or crunches or whatever. Um, but on Chorus, there is no suggested workouts. However, they do have a really good strength training, um, you know, or workout builder, basically. So if you, if you know what you want to do, you can structure it and then have your watch remind you on the days that you're supposed to be doing it. Whereas Polar, they've got suggested workouts, um, and you can build your own. So I would give the edge to Polar in that regard. Uh, I think it's a little easier to do in chorus to build your own, but Polar has the suggested workouts. So if that's important to you, then you probably want to lean towards Polar. Uh, hello from Utah. Miguel, 
from Utah, Dave. My CTS hat is lonely and needs a shirt or something to keep it company. Good point. I'm working on it. So the hats, uh, the hat thing is because basically these ones sold out and then uh, a bunch of people messaged me to get them back in stock. And I didn't really, I didn't want to buy the same one. I wanted to mix it up. So I got the new ones in stock, uh, but I'll work on shirts. Okay. I think those are a little easier. So I'll work on that. Thank you. Uh, hello from Boulder, the Phoenix six versus the new Sunto nine peak. I'm torn. So the, the Sunto nine peak, by the way, I will have a review coming on that soon. I think you just followed up with a question. Yeah. Are you going to review the Sunto nine peak? Yes. Um, I've got one coming. I don't have it yet. They didn't give one to me like pre-release. So, um, they are going to provide one. I think they said mid June and we're already past that. I don't have it, but I do plan to review it. Spoiler, spoiler alert though, it's basically the Sunto 9 crammed into a smaller body. So I think any video out there that's like comparing Sunto 9 versus um, the Garmin Phoenix 6, you're probably pretty similar. Uh, again, I don't have one, so I can't really comment on it. But soon, uh, Coros Pace 2 or Apex. Did I, I, did I make a video about that? I did. Go back and watch that because um, I have a whole video comparing those two. Uh, love the hat. Why is $25 shipping to Canada? It should not be, Josie. Thank you for pointing that out. I'm going to fix that. <laughs> basically, I have to do, for international shipping, I have to set up regions, basically, on my, like, back end, and I probably messed up Canada. So I apologize for that. I will fix that uh, today. Thank you for, the, for bringing that up. Uh, Sunto 9 Peak, another question about it. Yeah, I, I'm excited about it, but I don't have one, so I can't really share my thoughts. Uh, I think it's cool. I'm glad they made it smaller because I have a Sunto 9, and my biggest beef with it is that just huge, big, chunky, big, chunky thing. Uh, okay, moving down. TickWatch Pro 3. Oh, let's check that out. Sorry, am I too loud? I'm like, I feel like I'm yelling. TickWatch Pro 3. Share screen. Bink. Oh, look at that. It, he wrote that it was, uh, how much was it? Take watch Pro 3 was 180. On my end, I'm seeing the Pro 3 for 197, which is still a really good deal. Uh, previously 299, and it was really 299. So you're saving 100 bucks today if you're interested in the Tick Watch Pro 3, and that is a really awesome watch. Full review on the channel if you want to learn more about it. And then you got the, the Tick Watch Pro S below it for 180. So these are all Prime Day. Um, let's let's poke around, shall we? Let's do like let's just do general stuff. Pol polar uh, multi sport watch. Anything on polar? So we got a limited time deal on Vantage M for two twenty nine. That's a great price. Marked down from two seventy nine. Keep in mind the Vantage M two came out, which was also two seventy nine or two ninety nine. So. There's a newer version of it, but it, it's marked down, so that's good to see. Polar Grid X is down to 421, which it's not marked as a deal, but that's actually cheaper than usual. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, Polar Vantage M 224, yellow, five four bucks cheaper for the white one. Uh, Phoenix Five 359. Uh, that's an okay deal. I, I feel like it was cheaper before. I think it was down in the, I think the the Phoenix Five was down in that kind of two two ninety nine two seventy nine range, so maybe if you hit refresh on that a few times, it might pop up cheaper. Something I did see earlier was the Apple Watch Series Six. This, it isn't there now, but this was down to two seventy nine today. The Apple Watch Series Six, which is phew, that's a crazy good deal. Um, you don't you never see it that low. Currently at 349, so you know not the craziest deal there. Uh, series four is down 239. What about the SE? 269. That's not a great deal. Uh, 279. So the SE isn't on sale. Series six is on sale. I feel like you're going to see that fluctuate throughout the day. So keep an eye on that if you're interested in one. Here's one for 329. Series six. Uh, is that like refurbished or something? No, brand new. So if you're interested in one of those, it might be worth poking around. 
Uh, what else we got? Uh, Nigakuska. Hi, my Garmin 245 continuously experiences trouble acquiring a GPS satellite signal when watch having connected a phone in a couple of days. Uh, so that can happen for a few reasons. If you move from location to location, so if you like, if you if you're at home, you go for a run, you lock GPS signal, and then you travel and go somewhere else, and then go for a run. The watch won't have an updated uh, GPS generalized idea of where you are so you'll need to connect it to your phone and if you've lost the connection then that can happen with iphones a lot uh then it won't have that updated agf a gps data so you'll need to resync it to get that to work it may just take a little longer than usual stinks but it's uh it occasionally happens it's always like an iphone thing too i feel like that is inherent to ios and not so much garmin's fault i'm not really sure why it happens but it even happens to me on occasion uh, take watch. Oh, we, we covered that. David Jobes. Hello from Northern Virginia. Hey, thanks for joining. Uh, Chris Moore. Yep. I think the Tick Watch Pro 3 GPS is a great deal for that price. If you're interested in it, probably worth jumping on today because it will it'll definitely go back up. Well, uh, Prime Day is good for today and tomorrow. So anything you see in this video, I would suggest like checking in on because these deals come and go. They're, you know, you may watch this tomorrow and all these deals are over, but new ones pop up. I'm not the Bible for this. This is like, we're doing this in real time, people. Pretend you're, I'm sitting across from you. This is, <laughs> pretend we're, uh, you know, just chatting at the coffee shop or whatever. Hello from Glasgow, Scotland. Awesome. Thanks for joining. Uh, Brooks Cascadia is still my road to trail. Yeah, that's a great shoe. I actually did a lot of hiking in that shoe before I got into ultras, uh, you know, probably several versions ago. This was probably five years ago, but that's a great shoe. I enjoyed it. Uh, cheers from Latvia. Love your videos. Hey, thanks. Appreciate that. Uh, the the Huawei uh, Fit Watch. I always have a trouble saying Huawei, and I got nervous saying it live. Huawei Fit Watch, good for runners, uh, or just buy a Garmin four hundred forty five. So if you haven't seen the um, the watch, I what was it? The Honor Watch, man, I blanked. The Honor Watch GS Pro is made by Huawei, and I posted a review about that, and it had one major, major flaw with that watch in that it couldn't pair with um, Strava. So if you wanted to sync with Strava, it was a huge headache. You had to jump through hoops, like third-party apps and stuff. Just annoying to me. Um, and you also can't export, like, fit files or GPS data from it. So personally, for me, I would stay away from Huawei stuff until they fix that, but if you're into that ecosystem, maybe worth it. I don't have any experience with it. I would personally say if you're like a runner, just running, I would stick to Polar, Coro, Sunto, Garmin, you know, the known tried and true brands. Um, there's, you know, four runners in my opinion. There's more out there. Apple is a good, Apple Watch makes a good watch for running. If you want to charge it every day, we've gone over this before. But um, yeah, I would say stick to the 445 if you're on the fence, if you're mainly interested in running. Uh, Instinct Solar or Kuros Apex? Tough call. So the Kuros Apex has a lot going for it in terms of training. Uh, Kuros actually released something called Evo Labs a couple of weeks ago. I made a video about it where they incorporated like training load and recovery tools and VO2 max and all that in the Garmin Instinct simply doesn't have any of that stuff because it's marketed as more of like an out outdoor, uh, rugged, you know, outdoor hiker kind of watch and not so much for training. But if you're not interested in that, you can still run and bike and whatever with the Instinct Solar. Just know that you're not getting all the features Garmin offers because it's that outdoor segment. That makes sense? Hope that helps. Do, do, do. Okay. Sorry, I'm scrolling down. Hey, what GPS watch uh, do you re suggest? I'm going to be running a marathon in October and do powerlifting and CrossFit. The ideal price is under $400. Feel overwhelm overwhelmed with the amount of options. I would look at, if you're into Garmin, the 455 would, would do all the things you just listed there. 
And also the Garmin Venue 2, uh, it's that, that's at your max price point. That will uh, give you everything too. It's got the high intensity uh, interval training profile. So does the 455. Both have really good heart rate sensors in my testing. So maybe those two, um, maybe the Coros Pace 2 would be a good option too, worth looking at. Or even uh, the Polar Ignite 2 would fall into the end. Well, nah, yeah, the Polar Ignite 2 would be a good one too. Did you try out the Coros watch bands? Do they work on the Phoenix 6? They do. Um, between the Vertex and the Phoenix 6, they work. But the Pace 2 uses a different system, so they don't work. The Pace 2 bands don't work on the Phoenix 6S. They do, but it's really loose and kind of janky. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it if you have the choice. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Oh, here's a good one. Any uh, any deals on cameras? Funny you mentioned that. I was just recording a review for the Insta360 Go 2. And Insta360, let me bring it up. Loading, loading, using all my bandwidth here. So Insta360 actually has a bunch of deals directly on their website, which is interesting. They've got prime deals on the Insta360 website. So that's interesting because they're shipping through in, through Amazon. Uh, so you've got the Insta360 X2. That's a 360 camera. I have a review on that. Ton of fun, that camera. It, in 360 degrees, you can like frame your shot and post. That's marked down to 414. But what's interesting about this is that if you look at like the creator kit, you get bigger discounts for um, you know the kits. So you get a more off if you buy a more expensive bundle. And even more of a discount is the Insta360 ONE R, which is marked down, in some cases, by about 100 bucks. So that's a really good deal as well. In terms of, like, GoPro, I think... GoPro. So the Hero 9 is marked down... Yeah, so 399 for the Hero 9, not marked down at all. Um, the GoPro Hero 8, I want to say, I did see a deal on. There it is. Yeah, so this is a really, this is a killer deal, actually. You get the GoPro Hero 8, you get a uh, the head mount, um, you get a little selfie stick, which I use one of those every day, and you get an extra battery and an SD card, all for $279. That's a great deal. And the Hero 8 is still an awesome camera by today's standards. It's not the Hero 9, but it's uh, really good. So, yeah, um, that's a quick overview on action cameras. And stay tuned for my, in, my go-to review. That's going to be coming out hopefully midweek. I don't know. I filmed it today, and I've been using it for a couple of weeks. ton of fun. Took it on vacation with me and got a bunch of uh, stuff at an amusement, amusement park with my kids, which is a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, the best sports uh, for Wear OS app on the tick watch three i think i had an app called sporty go that was on wear os and what was cool about it was you could pair an external running power sensor to it which is kind of rare for a wear os app and uh, it had a bunch of other features like you you could pair a chest sensor to it and other stuff and you could customize how the data was was laid out so i would look into that i think it was five dollars oops Almost banned somebody. Don't want to click that button. Alex, GLONASS or Galileo for GPS? Uh, it kind of depends where you live. I personally just experiment with them. Um, I do, I've tried GPS plus GLONASS and Galileo and all that. And in my area, I find that GPS standalone, regular GPS, tends to work best. I don't know why. But GPS plus GLONASS is pretty good too. For all of my testing that I do in the videos I make, I put on GPS plus GLONASS because it's usually on most, like, if I'm doing apples to apples, it's across the board, all of the watches have it. So that's my take on that. Um, Alexander Tan, rumors around the Phoenix 7. Sorry, I don't have any. Um, I guess I could, my wish list would be for it to have, like, an OLED display option. Not all of the models to be OLED, but maybe have the Phoenix 6, with the transflective display and crazy battery life, and then the Phoenix 6O 
<laughs> or something for o or Phoenix 7 O for OLED model to get that bright punchy display like we saw on the venue too. That would be kind of cool and unique, but um, who knows what they'll do. Okay. Uh, Carly, uh, Car Carlo de... Oh, man. You're testing my ability to say names. Carlo de... Dio Video. Carlo Dio Video. Did I do it right? Carlo Dio Video. That's a cool name. Uh, hi, Dave. Loving the live stream. Do you ship to the UK? I do. Shipping is kind of expensive, and I apologize. It's because I ship from Massachusetts in the USA, and I don't have like warehouses all over the world with these hats in them. So I'm personally put them, I put them in a box myself and I send them out. So shipping's a little steep. I think for the UK, it's around 20 bucks. I could be wrong, but the uh, website in the description, the uh, store.chasethesummit.com, that'll show you the pricing um, if you're interested. No pressure, but I like the hat. I'm pretty excited about it. Alexander uh, Zanin, does the Suunto 7 last longer in battery than the Apple Watch? They're basically the same in terms of battery life. They, they're both a daily charge. And if you go running with them, sometimes they're dead by the end of the day, unfortunately. Uh, is the 6S worth it over the Venue 2? They're kind of for different people. The 6S is more like a wellness watch that can do running activities and stuff where the Phoenix six, uh, will give you more like training tools, like training load and training focus and recovery advisor and all that stuff. And if you get the pro model, you get mapping and music and all that. So they're a bit different. Um, I'd say if you're like an outdoor heart, you know, hardcore athlete or triathlon ultra runner, you probably f find more value in the, the Phoenix. Um, the venue two is more for like, high intensity interval training, maybe CrossFit, maybe um, you're a casual runner and cyclist and you just want a nice watch for every day, like that kind of thing. You can't pair a power meter to it, which is kind of a limitation. So different, different people would be interested in different watches there. Hope that helps. Uh, Timothy Pettit, I'm update, upgrading from the Vivo Active 3 Music to the Venue 2S. Uh, in the venue is the venue 2 s a good upgrade. I would say so Yeah, I, I really like the venue 2, both the 2 and the 2 s I think they're really different than what we're used to from Garmin the menus feel smoother It's like just a better experience overall. So if you liked the vivo active, you're gonna love the venue 2 definitely Victor any collabs in the works uh, not right now. I do. I, you know, I, I reached out to a few guys or guys and girls, um, kind of in this, you know, fitness tech realm and, you know, everyone's so busy and we're all doing our own thing. And I think as we move out of the stages of quarantine and everything, it'll become easier. But, uh, right now, yeah, nothing. Uh, I've, I've been thinking about doing some like collabs on live streams like this, maybe, and having some people in the fitness tech world come in, so that might be fun. Stay tuned. Uh, thanks for bringing that up. I'll mark it on my to-do list and send me emails out. Fair warning to everybody who knows me who's a YouTuber. I will be sending you an email tonight. <laughs> uh, LH, this is everything I was already shopping for. <laughs> well, today's your lucky day, except your bank account is going to be hurting by the end of the day because everything's on sale. Well, today and tomorrow. So maybe buy something today and then buy something tomorrow so you can break up the damage to your uh, your wallet. That way uh, it doesn't all happen at the same time. <laughs> uh, okay, I, so I've got a little I've got a little thing I want to talk about. Let me bring it up on my screen. This is kind of a kind of on topic of GPS fitness watches off topic from Amazon right now. But something I noticed, sorry, bear with me here. So I've been watching, um, if you, if you guys know, uh, Koros, right? You know, Koros, let me, uh, let me hide this chat for a second. You guys know Koros, right? Um, so the CEO of Koros is a guy named Louis Wu and he's somebody I talk to, uh, here and there we email. Instagram message and stuff. And 
um, I don't want to start any rumors or anything, but he kind of implied in a way that something might be coming from Koros, that something big might be coming from Koros. Uh, again, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to, you know, start the wheels of, uh, rumors and, you know, get everyone going, but he did imply something was coming. And, and what I did notice when I was looking, I may have been browsing through his Strava, uh, let me share this. I may have been browsing through Strava and noticed uh, something on some of his tra you know, tracks where it's some of them say Coros Vertex here, like you can see here, and then others just say Coros Wearables as if to say Strava doesn't know what it is. Let me see if I can find one. Piece two. Uh... I don't know how far back it was, but it said Chorus wearables, and I found that interesting. Almost like maybe he's wearing something that's, you know, not announced yet. So if you want to have some fun, maybe go follow uh, Louis, <laughs> Louis Wu over on Strava, who is the CEO of Chorus, of course, and um, see what he's up to. Oh, there it is. So if you look here, it says Chorus wearables, and... I've got every Coros watch. I've got the Vertex, the Apex Pace 2, Apex Pro. None of them do this when you upload to Strava. So I'm kind of wondering, you know, if something's going on. And if you look, you try to sneak some of the pictures here, see if he's got something going on. Maybe shot of his wrist. <laughs> no such luck. Anyways, uh, if you want to have some fun, go follow him on Strava and see if uh, you can pick up on on anything that he's uh, been posting about. That's just my little tidbit of rumor information for you in this live stream. Again, I don't have any knowledge. I just, I know something might be coming and uh, he, you know, he implied it, but he didn't, he didn't talk about it expressly. Okay. Who do we got here? Oh, we got DC Rainmaker in the chat. Hey, Ray. <laughs> He's asking if he gets an email too. Obviously, you are. You know what, Ray? You are welcome to join me on the live stream any anytime you want. <laughs> also, if you haven't seen Ray's video about all the new, uh, all the stuff for sale <laughs> on uh, on Amazon Prime Day, go check out his video from today. He's a lot more organized than me. I'm a scatterbrain. I just do stuff in real life. Um, but I wish I was as organized. We've got 90 people watching this. Holy smokes. Thanks for watching, everybody. Who else we got in here? We got Trent. Hey, from Boston. If I don't want to purchase the, the LTE subscription, would you say the 945 LTE is still worth it over the 945? Yeah, for a couple of reasons. Uh, so it's $50 more, which is not that much more, unless you can find the 945 on sale, which did we even talk about that yet? Jeez. Carbon Foreigner. 945. Okay, we'll jump to this in a minute. Um, oh, it is on sale. So right now you've got the 945, the regular one, for 516. At that price, yeah, maybe maybe jump on the 945 and not the 945 LTE. The advantages of the 945 LTE is obviously LTE. Maybe you don't want it now, but maybe down the road they release more features that work with LTE, and then you're like, oh, I wish I had that. Is it worth an additional upgrade for that? Maybe it's kind of future-proofing. I also wonder if they'll support the 945 LTE longer, you know, with firmware and adding features. The, Nor the no original 945 is still getting new features, like it just got the new sleep algorithm and widget. It got um, the updated body battery. So they're still working on that, and hopefully they continue to work on it alongside the 945 LTE since they're still pretty new, but I don't know. And then the other advantage, like I said before, is um, the 945 LTE, for some reason, has slightly better GPS accuracy in my testing so far. I'm wearing it right now. It's kind of been my, my everyday. I'm really liking it. So um, there's that. There's the thinner bezels. Um, there's slightly better battery life if you're using the music. You know, you get 7 on the 945, 10 hours uh, on the 945 LTE. Minor upgrade there. So, like, you add all those things up. Uh, and, oh yeah, and then it has like the new CPU and GPU. So like, I don't know. Can I show this on camera? Can you see? Oh man, that camera doesn't look good. But yeah, so the um, 
the the new GPU just lets you it, scrolling is just a little more seamless. Things you know happen a little snappier. Yeah, you know, I'd say it's worth. In my opinion, it's worth like seventy five bucks. Is it worth one hundred and fifty bucks more? I don't know. That's up to you to decide. Uh, it's really <laughs> at the end of the day, it's your decision. Is the Garmin Phoenix Six Sapphire on Amazon right now? The one with the premium features, or is it the web or the Garmin Garmin website? When I select the Six Sapphire, blah blah blah. Okay, let's clear it up. I clear this up all the time in my uh, my review, but Phoenix Six Sapphire is a Phoenix Six Pro. You get music, Wi-Fi, offline maps, all the things. You just have nicer glass material. You get sapphire, and then you've got. I, Additional options like the DLC coating, diamond-like coating, that make it a little bit more durable. But um, other than that, the guts are identical. No difference between the two. The base model to the Pro is a bigger difference. You don't get maps and music. The base model is just a GPS watch with training tools. The Pro and Sapphire get the music offline mapping. So Pro and Sapphire are the same. Sapphire is just a little bit nicer. And that's why it's surprising that the Sapphire is the one on sale right now. Pretty sweet. Um, uh, we got Sol Solange Marv Marivi. Uh, hi, is the Phoenix Six Solar? Hi, it's the be okay. Let me try to interpret this. Hi, it's better. Uh, Phoenix. So, is the Phoenix Six Solar better than the Instinct Solar? In my opinion, yes. But you're paying a lot more money for the Phoenix Six Solar. The only advantage to the Instinct Solar would be um, standby time, battery life. You get a lot more battery life out of the uh, standby time, like smartwatch mode, on the Instinct Solar and the ability to actually have it in watch mode or just telling time kind of indefinitely if you get enough sunlight. That's kind of the standout feature on the Instinct. Uh, dude, the 945 LTE is so crisp. Yeah, you got one, right? Congratulations on that. Um, yeah, it's got a really good display. I don't know what it is. Garmin's really weird with their displays. Some of these watches have like a really, well, focus. Some of these watches have a really kind of washed out display. But my 945 LTE, like, let's get, a, can I get a closer look? Can I do it? Focus? No, you don't want to. So that is like one of the crisper displays on a Garmin watch. Um, I wish I could tell you why. It's like luck of the draw with Garmin. I grabbed a Garmin Enduro for the battery. Heck yeah, man. If you're like crazy into the battery life, the Enduro is where you want to be. That thing just lasts forever. In fact, I've got it in a box, uh, you know, where I have all the watches I test and review and stuff. And I left it on by accident. It's been going for like over a month. <laughs> it's just like crazy battery life. Could the increased accuracy due to the using the LTE towers for nav? I thought that originally as well. But even if you disable LTE, it's still more accurate because you can go into the menu uh, on the 945 LTE. I can show you here. And then if you go up to LTE, see how it says standby right now. If I click the button, now it says off. Even if I leave it off like this, um, the battery life on, or not the battery life, the GPS accuracy on the 945 LTE appears to be superior than almost any other watch. I honestly do not know why. <laughs> it's really weird. Um, and maybe it's my unit. I don't know. Uh, I think Dez over at DezFit had similar results when he compared the 945 and 945 LTE. He gave it a little bit of an edge. So maybe it's not just me. Ray, what about you? Are you still out there? DC Rainmaker, how's your GPS accuracy? Um, <clears throat> greetings from Costa Rica. What do you think is better? The Garmin 445 or wait for the 55? Um, yeah, I would go for the 55 if you can afford it. You got more activity profiles. You got way better battery life. Um, you've got like VO2 Max on board. I don't know if the 45 had that, but it also has the recovery advisor. They jammed a lot from the 245 into the 55 and made it like a more feature-rich training tool, whereas the... The 45 is kind of lacking a lot of things, including a lot of activity profiles. So if you can afford that $70 or $60, I think it's worth it because, you know, you'd rather buy, what's that phrase? Um, buy twice or buy nice. Is that it? <laughs> I don't know. 
it's, <laughs> don't listen to me. I'm the guy with like overkill cameras and watches and everything. But I would, I might pony up the extra sixty bucks for a better, um, better unit. Especially, you know, under two hundred bucks. It's that's a great deal. I was planning on getting the 945, but with the Phoenix 6 Sapphire on sale, I'm thinking about the Phoenix 6 Sapphire. Yeah, I would. I mean, flat out, I would just get the 6 Sapphire unless you don't like heavy watches because the weight difference, so the 945, 50 grams, 51 grams maybe, and the Phoenix 6 is like um, 80 grams, 83 grams. Uh, th that difference, your 30 grams, you're going to feel that. So if you don't like heavier watches, you might be happier with the 945, but for the price, the Phoenix 6 Sapphire is crazy. Uh, really good deal. All right, uh, so let's jump back into uh, Amazon, see what else we can find, shall we? 945, let's check out LTE. Again, anything I find on here, I'll, I'll link it in the description down below. Right now I've got some links down there for things I planned on talking about, but um, you know, as things pop up, I will continue to uh, put them in the com in the description down below. So, if you're looking for a quick quick way to get over there, check that out. I actually had a couple of more I wanted to look at too. Let's see. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. So this one's a little off topic. <laughs> this is a, the Jackery. Oh man, they pulled it down. That was a great deal too. I, I love these things, these solar genera generators. Jackery. And there was a great deal. Basically, if you don't know what a solar generator is, it's essentially a giant battery pack that they cram into like a really convenient unit. So you got like a flashlight on board, you've got like a cigarette lighter adapter for things you could charge in your car, you've got an AC adapter to plug your coffee machine into, whatever, and then you get U USB charging all built into this box you can just kind of carry around. Awesome for like uh, camping or car camping or going on vacation or power outages. So many uses. I've got one literally right here. I can't get it in frame because I'm powering my cameras off of it. So I love them. I've got them all over the place. And Jackery has a really good deal. This one's really good too. Like this Prime Day deal for the Jackery Explorer 240 watt hour power station for 150 bucks, 159. That's $40 off. But they had one earlier, oh, it was this one. It was the 500 for like $100 off. It was a really good deal. If I didn't have so many, I don't know why I'm into these things, but if I, had, if I didn't have so many, I would have bought it. <laughs> so unfortunately, that one's off. But the, the, one, the 240 is, is back on, which is pretty cool. Um, let's talk about earbuds. So... One thing I am testing is actually the uh, Jaybird Vistas, the Vista 2. I know these won't be on sale. Uh, so the Jaybird Vista 2s are 200 bucks. I will have a full review on these coming hopefully this week if I can edit the video, uh, which I should be doing right now, but I'm doing live streaming and it's too much fun anyways. So the Jaybird Vistas are 200 bucks, but the original Jaybirds are 129. I don't know if that's a prime day deal, but they're, they're awesome earbuds for $129. And then you've got like the Jabra Elite 85T for $160, which is a really good, that's a really good deal. The 85Ts are awesome earbuds. They've got like the um, transparency mode, so you can, you can hear the things around you. They got great sound quality, good call quality. Obviously, 1,600 positive reviews on Amazon. Uh, I would say that that's a pretty positive experience for most people. So that's a good deal. Uh, what else we got? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I didn't go through Fitbit yet. Granted, I'm not like a Fitbit enthusiast, <laughs> if, you, if you can tell by the content I make, but I, I have reviewed a couple of their watches. So they've got the Sense here for $200. It's actually a really good price. The uh, Fitbit Sense. So this has the new um, heart rate sensor on the back. I did not review this, but it, um, see if I can zoom in on it. There you go. It's got their new fancy heart rate sensor on the back and it ties into the Fitbit ecosystem, which a lot of people love for the sleep tracking and you know step challenges with coworkers and friends and stuff. So 
Good price on that. That's marked down from $299 down to $199. And what else we got for Fitbit? Not much. Nothing. I'm just talking about the exciting stuff. <laughs> you guys are just... Oh, this one's cool. I forgot to talk about this. You may not know what this is, but this is the LifeStraw personal water filter. For me, I when I do like back backcountry hiking, trail running, um, I always have a water filter in order to like get water out of a stream and be able to drink it. In my part of the world, it's not really safe. and get Giardia, Cryptosporidium, all of those um, uh, parasites that live in water. You don't want to drink it. So you buy one of these things and you use it to suck up water. You can filter right into a bottle. Really handy. These are typically um, $20 each or $40 for the set of two. They're on sale today for 20 bucks and you get two. I thought that was a really good deal. It's a Prime Day deal. And if you look at one, the one pack is $13. <laughs> so for $7 more, you get two. How much is it for the three pack? 50 bucks. So you're better off with the two pack. That's the uh, sweet, sweet spot for the Life Straw. And uh, yeah, I, I love the Life Straw. Actually, I'm curious, this is personal, this is for me. I'm curious if uh, I also use the Katahdin Bee Free water filter. And that's not on sale, unfortunately. So the Bee Free is great. Really, it's got really high flow rates. So you can just kind of scoop up water, squeeze it into your bottle that you're running with. But for $44, not on sale. Um, still worth it. I really like it, but it's not on sale. And then the last one's called the Sawyer Mini. And that one's five bucks off. So that's cool. Five dollars off for the Sawyer Mini. Another really good water filter. Uh, let's talk about trail running shoes, shall we? How about ultras? Hmm. I'm looking for that blue logo saying they're on sale. Lone Peak 5 is 129 not on sale. It's a regular price. Uh, Lone Peak 4.5, $89. It's not, a, it's not a Prime Day sale, but that's actually a really good price for the 4.5. So I've got a review on my channel about this. About Hoka. You know what's weird is I found that Hoka is kind of hard to find on Amazon. Like they've got the older models. I think they may not be like a brand that's carried on Amazon, which is unfortunate for Prime Day. Yeah. All right, let's jump back into the chat, see what else we got going on here. I don't even, I don't know where I le left off here. Uh, da, da, da. Greetings from Poland. Hey, thanks for joining. Do you think the Phoenix 6 will get updated to get some of the features of the Venue 2 and the 945 LTE? Um, I think they're trying to keep the Phoenix 6 updated. I think it is. I mean, in terms of from the Venue 2 to the Phoenix 6, I'm not sure what would be missing other than some like UI tweaks. Everything else is kind of a hardware change, which obviously they can't do. Um, and then from the 945 LTE to the Phoenix 6, again, I think the Phoenix 6 has everything except for LTE and because that's a hardware thing. So you can't pop an LTE chip into the Phoenix 6. So given that, I think, um, you know, the Phoenix 6 is kind of what it is at this point. They'll, they'll continue to keep it relevant until the next Phoenix, whatever that is, comes out. But for now, you know, I, I think it's been optimized pretty far at this point. I just bought the Phoenix 6S and I love it. I'm concerned about the Elevate 3.0 heart rate sensor as the Venue 2 and 945 have the 4.0. Will the Phoenix 6 re receive updates when the Phoenix 7 drops? So if you look at history, how Garmin typically works, they never abandon anything. Like you can still plug in your Garmin 405 in sync with Strava, um, which is kind of wild, but they don't, they don't provide new additional features. So if the Phoenix 7 has like, 
I don't know, some new EKG or ECG like function that isn't hardware based, they probably wouldn't roll it back to the Phoenix 6, um, the Phoenix 7 to the Phoenix 6, uh, just because they segment their devices like that. So if you want the new stuff, you got to buy the latest and greatest. But that said, they will provide firmware updates to keep it relevant. If something breaks due to like Garmin Connect being updated, they'll roll out an update to the older stuff to keep it up to date. And that's what they're doing with all of their devices. Even if you buy an original Phoenix One, that will get a firmware update to make it functional with today's Garmin Connect. So I like that about them. They'll never leave you high and dry, but they're not gonna give you like new stuff a year down the road or two years down the road. Hope that answers your question. Uh, Phoenix 6S Pro is also on sale. Yep. <laughs> like I said, I don't know when the Phoenix 7 is going to be released. Um, I know you guys really want to know, <laughs> judging by the comments. Unfortunately, I don't have any insider knowledge, and if I did, I'd be under embargo or, or whatever, and I wouldn't be able to tell you about it unless I wanted to, like, burn my bridge with Garmin, which I'm not going to do. Um, what I can say is I don't know anything, and that's m the honest truth. Uh, I can speculate that maybe sometime later this year we'd see something, but that's totally a guess at this point. Is the Phoenix 6 Sapphire good enough as a trail running and mountain biking mapping device? I think so. Um, I love the mapping feature on it. It's definitely not as good as a full-out cycling computer for mapping because of that big screen you can mount to your, your handlebars or whatever. Again, I'm mainly a runner, so I can't really comment on that but I think it's usable in terms of a navigation tool for cycling. For running, it's definitely more than adequate, and I, I use it all the time. I always use the return to start. I always design courses on it. It's an awesome feature. Uh, any tempered glass screen protector brands you'd recommend for the Garmin 400 945 LTE? Funny you mention that. I just bought one today. Let me show you what I bought. I haven't gotten it yet, so I can't, can't comment on it. Uh, da, da, da. there we go. You can see up top there, it says you, you purchased this on June 21st. So I bought this screen protector today. I, I don't know what it is yet. I don't know how good it is. Uh, it's called Mehence. And really it was only one of a few that were available and it was eight bucks. So I bought it. I think I have a hunch that they're all kind of the same except for like the oleophobic coating, but we'll see. Hopefully it's good. Uh, Spencer says, I have the Sawyer and it's great. Yeah, great, great water filters. Super handy to have. Do you know if the Kamut app works with the Venue 2? Uh, so you won't be able to load any navigation from Kamut to the Venue 2. And that's simply because the Venue 2 does not support navigation in any capacity. So it can't do a route navigation. You can't design a course with it. Basically, you can only do back to start, and that just provides a bearing, so a little arrow telling you where to go. Uh, so it will not work with Commute if you want to like load a navigation course on it. Um, yeah, so just answer your question. <laughs> so the Venue 2 with mapping is pretty much my ideal watch. Yeah, and that's why earlier in the stream, when we talked about the Phoenix 7, the elusive Phoenix 7, I think, you know, the ideal solution would be to have two flavors, have the transflective display for guys like me who want the battery life, and then have the OLED display for everybody else. So like the Phoenix 6 7, and then the Phoenix 6 7 O or something that would come with like the venue display. So you'd get all of the awesome fe features of a Phoenix with mapping and everything, but on a really vi vibrant, bright display. That'd be awesome. Hi, first from Switzerland. According to you, uh, what would be the next big evolution from the GPS watches world? I love your channel. Keep up the good work. <laughs> you got this. Thank you. Uh, in terms of like GPS performance, I think we're hitting a pinnacle where it just comes down to antenna design with how accurate it can get. Um, I would like to see like in other aspects, more creativity around like training tools and wellness data like more use of maybe ECG like we've seen in the Apple Watch. Maybe that could be a part of a Garmin or a Coros or a Polar or something. Um, and also I'd love to see uh, OLED 
screens with good battery life. I know physically it's kind of impossible, but I can still dream and I would dream to see that. So <laughs> if, if that were possible, I would love to see like a month of battery life with a great display. I feel like Apple would be in trouble if, they, if someone could figure that out. Um, that's kind of it. I mean, I've always got things where I, I look at my watch and I'm like, man, I wish, I wish I could do this or that, but I don't write them down. Maybe I'll start writing them down. What shoes should I get for everyday easy running? So many options. It depends on your budget. You know, like I said before, if, if, you've, if you just want to get into running, just buy whatever. Um, go to the store and try them on, of course. Make sure they feel comfy and whatever. Try whatever and, you know, get out the door and start running with kind of a cheap intro pair of shoes and then find what doesn't work for you. Like if you're getting a hot spot, maybe they're too narrow, too wide, you're sliding around a little too much. And I think from there you can start to dial in what kind of shoe you want to get into. Um, for me, I gravitate towards wider feet shoes because my feet in the middle of like the midfoot is kind of wide. So I know that about myself. I know I can't wear certain brands like Solomon doesn't work for me. Um, so yeah, I think it's kind of a learning experience. But if you want like, um, from my experience so far, I actually posted a video about the Clifton 8, the Hoka Clifton 8 this morning. Those are great daily trainers, super light. They've got a lot of cushion, very comfortable. So maybe check those out um, and see if they work for you. Hope that helps. Have you noticed any dropouts with the Jaybird Vista 2 and the 945 LTE? Uh, I experienced that and I'm returning the Vista 2s. That's really weird because actually I was trying that this morning. I actually have the Vista 2s with me over here and I didn't, I didn't have any dropouts. That's interesting because uh, the, vi the original Vista 1s I use all the time with my garments and those were fine. The Vista 2s, I kind of had the same experience. What I did notice is with ANC turned on, the Vista 2s sometimes do have a weird, like if you pause a song, it'll mute and then unmute, like the ANC turns on and off. Um, maybe that's what you're hearing or did it actually drop out during the audio? Cause that would be kind of weird. Uh, Chad, I'm only an hour late. What did I miss? I live vicariously through Chase the Summit. <laughs> Thanks man. I appreciate that. Check out Chad's channel. If you haven't seen his channel yet, he's got a running channel. Uh, do you have a screen protector on your Phoenix 6S? No, um, mainly because I bought the Sapphire model. Sapphire for me, I know everyone has their experiences. I call Sapphire scratch proof because I've never managed to scratch a Sapphire watch and I've had a lot of them and I've abused a lot of them. Even like if you want to know the abuse level, my, my, uh, 945 LTE actually has a pretty big focus, focus. There it is. There's actually a chip on it. You probably can't see it. Maybe if I do this zoom, there we go. No, <laughs> uh, you can kind of see it. So up here by the start button is actually a uh, pretty good ding where it says start and stop. I took a chunk out of the plastic already. So I definitely don't um, baby my watches. Uh, in my Sapphire, all of the watches are flawless. So I feel like if you are torn between Sapphire and pro, like the Pro Gorilla Glass, I'd always go Sapphire because it's so durable. What's your opinion on the Brooks running shoes or specifically Brooks? Uh, yeah, so I don't have a lot of experience with them. I wore the Cascadias years ago. I don't, sorry, I can't comment on that, but they seem good. Hope that helps. <laughs> uh, Kiefer says it totally tanked the music, disconnected, and literally froze the watch. Oh, man, that's weird. Um, I kind of want to try that live on the air. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm a scatterbrain, and we, we've just crossed over an hour of being live. So I won't do it today, but I'll test that out, and I'll get back to you. Really weird. Did you try like um, breaking like the connection between the Vista 2s and the 945 LTE and then repairing them? Maybe. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see, are there any deals I didn't talk about? Garmin, Fitbit. GoPro, Life Straw. Yeah, I mean, I think we've got. <laughs> uh, I can't say the name of your 
name there, Tenerus Narp. <laughs> they get it. Love your videos and reviews, by the way. Greetings from Hamburg, Germany. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, with that, I think I'm going to wrap it up now, unless you guys have anything else you want to talk about. Uh, Chad's got one more final thing. Do you think you'll review the Sunto 9 Peak? Love the new slimmer form factor. Yes, I will. I've talked with them about it. I'm getting one. They said mid-June. Don't have it yet. Hopefully it comes in the mail anytime now. All right, uh, that wraps it up for today's live stream. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the old thumbs up down below. You know, subscribe if you're new here. Welcome. This is what I do. <laughs> and uh, of course, if you saw a deal in this video you found interesting, check out the links in the description. Also, if you're watching this after the fact, I'll continually add to the des description. So make sure you check out the description down below for all of the links to the Amazon Prime Day stuff. And I'll try to keep them as fresh as possible. This is kind of my placeholder for that. Uh, with that, also, of course, uh, the merch. I'll plug it one more time. We've got new Chase the Summit trucker hats in the house. Uh, that's not the trucker hats, Dave. That's the wrong button. <laughs> There we go. That's the new Chase the Summit trucker hat. That is the Boko Gear CTS. Uh, I'm calling it the Sunrise hat. And I love this thing. I love the design. I don't have one yet. But they are in production, and I'm getting them mailed. I should have them soon. If you want one, pre-orders are open. They start today. Check out the links in the doobly-doo description down below. And, uh, yeah, I think I covered all the bases today. Thank you for joining, everybody. I appreciate all of your support. And everybody who bought a hat during this live stream, a bunch of you did, I really appreciate that as well. Uh, stay tuned for more videos coming up this week. I posted one this morning. I've got another one coming up maybe Tuesday may, or tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday. Hopefully a couple this week. I'm cranking over here. Pretty excited. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.